Hey guys, I just wanted to say uh, thank you for everything and going to spare you guys all the political bullshit. I wrote something I would love for you guys to hear. Honestly, I do want to thank each and every one of you supporting members. Um, you've, been, uh, you've been amazing. You've shown me nothing but love and it, it's really been amazing. It's been quite overwhelming. Um, all the heartwarming comments, tweets, kind words that have all been sent. It's been, it's been really amazing. All of you have changed my life and have shaped me into the individual I am today. Through the years, you've helped me grow. You've witnessed the ups and downs in my life and stuck by me through thick and thin. I can never repay you guys for that. It's, uh, it's really crazy when uh, I think about it all that you guys have got to watch me grow up over the last seven years and really mold me as a, as a person. Um, so this is my sincere thank you. Um, I thank you so very much for everything. Honestly, truly, it's been amazing. John, uh, I worked for you for seven years. Uh, I can remember the first time me and Daniel got off the plane in Hollywood. It was exciting to feel like we were part of something new and fresh. It was, I was pumped, you know, I was pumped. <clears throat> Even now, I do not regret the time um, I worked for you. I mean, I had, I had a great time, I learned a lot. Um, I'll always be grateful for the opportunities you've given me chances you, uh, I've had to grow with you and the company both personally and professionally. In the first four years, thank you for teaching me two important values in business I will take with me forever. Being patient and following through. I can honestly say if anybody would ever ask me what's the best advice I'd ever received, I'll always tell them it was you. Following through. Anybody can just talk shit. You know, it's, it's very important to follow through and you know, the actions speak louder than words, honestly. Uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to work for your company and allowing me to be as creative as possible. I thank you for believing in so many of my ideas and incorporating them into the company. Thank you for asking and taking my advice. I appreciate that you moved forward with some of it. It made me feel like you really valued my judgment, you know. But not to discount the last three years of working for you, where I've also learned a tremendous amount. I want to thank you for showing me the following. How important it is to respect your employees and paying subscribers. How important it is to be consistent on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis. How important it is to not freak out about all the small stuff, but rather focus on what and who are important. How important it is to take responsibility for your own actions and not blame others, especially as a leader. How important it is to have a healthy work-life balance and set boundaries between work and play. And finally, how important it is to be honest and a forthright individual. John, you are rich in character and I wish you and your company the best. That's the truth. Champ. One chapter closes and another one has to be written. This is life and it does go on. But I would have liked the pad to have been successful and continued indefinitely with me as part of it. Of course, of course it was my life. Of course I did. The pad has been a great experience for me where I've learned and I've had success. I've made mistakes and I've learned from them and for the most part, I had a lot of fun. But life also teaches us we must continue to grow or we become stagnant and die. I'll confess, the last year or so has not been so much fun. I don't blame anyone for that. If anything, like a group or a business, the entire group, in order to be successful, needs to come together and share its triumphs and failures. But even so, did I want my time at the pad to end with me being let go and with John terminating my access to my phones and emails? No, I didn't want that either. I cannot say I've always understood John's decisions, but at the end of the day, as the business owner, the buck does stop with him. So if anything, I thank you for Friday, John. I truly do. Maybe I had got too comfortable. Maybe I missed the challenges of being part of a more cutting edge company, like a startup. So I thank you, John, for giving me the kick in the ass 
that I need in order to realize that I need those challenges in my life to feel fulfilled and happy. And I thank you for showing me that I want to be the person not only comes up with the ideas and implements them, but also have the challenge and excitement of being the business owner. The person who takes responsibility for all aspects of his company, what it does, what it stands for, how it interacts with its own uh, team members, and how it interacts with customers and the world at large. So again, thank you for everything. Members, uh, John, you guys have done so much for me. Uh, I'll, never, I'll never forget it. I, I truly won't. Um, I want to thank you so much for giving me the tools and motivation to start writing the next chapter in my great journey and for helping me see what I was meant to do as the next step in my growth as a person and as a businessman. I just want to let you know there was no way I would ever let you down. I'm going to come harder and stronger than I've ever come before. You know, the, the truth is I am excited. I am ready to do something new and start this new period in my life. Vincent Van Gogh once said, in spite of everything, I shall rise again. I will take up my pencil, which I have forsaken in my great discouragement, and I will go on with my drawing. And what Mr. Fucking La L made up and hasn't trademarked yet is if I was normal, I wouldn't know, but I know because I am not. And I got something special for you right here. You know, I don't know. Change is scary. How would you feel about taking your life entirely new direction? How would anyone feel? I wouldn't change anything for the experiences I've had over the past several years. I was part of something new at the time, you know? The friends I made, the mistakes I made. Shit, I had a lot of fun along the way. A lot of good times, don't get me wrong. In the end though, I guess the whole thing became soul crushing. No, I don't regret it. I don't regret anything. No one has ever done this before. What we're doing now, this is real, man. We really are friends. The experiences are real. The people we meet, the hell with the scripts, the hell with staging. Some of it I can't even describe. You just gotta see it. It's unbelievable, man. Sexy. I hope it'll be sexy. Sure it'll be sexy. But it is about more than that. It has to be. You know what it'll be? It'll be life. Goofy, fun, sexy, just like our real lives. Where's it gonna end? When is it going to end? Hell, I don't even know where it's going to go. <laughs> but I sure know where it starts. In fact, it already has. The problem is, is people, most people aren't going to know my story. 